What's happening everyone? It's Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number five, Patch Bay and Signal Flow. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we're about to go over three topics in this video, so remember to take plenty of notes. Let's start by titling your notes right now at the top of the page, Lesson 5 Video Notes. Go ahead and put three bullet points on your page around four to five lines apart, which is a good enough space for each topic. Bullet point one should read, what is signal flow? Bullet point two would be, what is a patch bay? And then bullet point three, patch bay configurations. All right, let's jump right into it. So what is signal flow? Signal flow is the direction of sound from sound source to sound output. An easy way of thinking about it is like a singer singing into a microphone connected to a speaker system. Okay, so when a singer sings into the microphone, that acoustic energy goes into the microphone, it transforms into an electrical signal, it goes into that XLR cable that it's connected to, then that XLR cable actually connects to a mixer, and then that mixer is connected to other speaker cables that finally meet the final speakers that you could hear that, that sound coming out of. So that's what signal flow is. It's that chain from beginning to end. Let's go ahead and jump into our next topic here, the patch bay. So what is a patch bay? A patch bay is a multi-input and output setup source that allows you to connect equipment and define a signal path. It'll also allow you to change the signal path you know, to your convenience as well. So you don't have to pull a bunch of wires. All you need to do is actually just reconnect to the sound setup that you're using for that recording. Let's go ahead and cover the patch bay's most common configurations. There's actually three of them. There's parallel, half-normaled, and normaled. Right now we're going to go ahead and talk about paralleled. So in this mode, all terminals of one module are interconnected. You use this mode to split up and send one audio signal to several destinations. Let's take a look at our second diagram here, half normaled. So half normal is when the contacts of two jacks on the rear are interconnected. When you insert a plug into the upper front jack, the signal routed through the rear path is not interrupted. Only when the front lower jack is used will the rear panel route be split up so that the two upper and lower jacks are connected to one another. This input configuration is called input break, and it's used mainly for insert paths. You can easily patch the signal from a mixing console channel at the patch bay without interrupting the signal flow in the channel. Okay, so the last configuration type we'll talk about is normal. Here's a diagram, and in contrast to half normal setup, the signal route of the rear jacks is actually interrupted when you insert a plug both into the upper and lower front jacks. And those were the most common ways to configure a patch bay. Okay guys, that's all the video I have for you today. This has been Eddie Martinez with The Recording Connection. And if you want a little bit more, don't forget to check out Music Is My Oxygen for all the things that you love about music. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.